we had a very vigorous rebound of our business in uh, all regions. Actually, um, all the regions are positive except Europe, which is slightly negative. Uh, so on one side, very strong rebound of all the systems we are delivering with our integrators, who in Q3 could be back at work with their customers. And, and then again, this was accelerated or that was boosted by the development of our service on software business. So we saw in Q3 a strong recovery of our business, of our energy management business, of our industrial automation business in all regions. The energy management business just starts to look better and better, doesn't it, as this theme of Build Back Better gets stronger as we hopefully come through the other side of this pandemic crisis. I, I note the deal you've done with Walmart here to help them with their renewable energy program. How many more deals like that are there out there for Schneider, do you think, Jean-Pascal? I think the building industry is, is reinventing itself on, on the COVID is asking for, for that. So um, uh, what we've seen in times of pandemics is that people want their environment to be more healthy, healthier. It has to be contactless in a number of cases. Uh, it has to be possibly remotely operated when you speak about the technical facilities. And all of this asks for smarter buildings. And at the same time, uh, during the virus time, we've seen more people associating the virus issue with the sustainability issue because somewhere the causes of climate change and the causes of the virus are about uh, identity of population, uh, urbanization, on, on globalization. And, and you've seen more acceleration of the questioning for more sustainable uh, buildings. So all of this is going to the direction of healthier, smarter on greener buildings. And this is what we are engineering together with our customers. And we see that demand uh, accelerating. And in this frame, what we do with Walmart is not only to work with them to make their, their sites uh, smarter, but to make sure that they buy better their energy. And that is not only with Walmart, but the suppliers of Walmart. So we work together with Walmart to help the supply chain of Walmart to buy renewable energy. And it's, it's a large movement. Today, you've got that movement of um, um, uh, RE100 around the world, which are the companies which have decided to source all of their energy coming from renewable sources. Jean-Pascal, I wanted to dive into the regional split. You mentioned that Western Europe is the only region where you didn't see a recovery this quarter, looking at organic growth decline of 1.8%. On the other hand, though, Asia Pacific saw very strong organic growth of 5.1%. Give us a little more color on what's behind the strength in Asia and also when you expect Western Europe to recover. Look, I, I would be more positive than you, you just were on, on Europe. Of course, it's slightly negative, but it's only slightly negative. And we come from a much deeper deep in Europe in Q2. So it's a very strong recovery in Europe too. In Asia, the two leading geographies in Asia that we have is India and China. Uh, China, because while well, it's been already two quarters of recovery, and this has been accelerated by the stimulus package, and in, uh, in Q3 in India, after the very severe lockdowns of Q2, India is now on its track for recovery, which is uh, great news for us because, as you know, in Q3, we concluded the acquisition of Larsen Tubo uh, Electrical, which, which will reinforce significantly our presence in India, which is becoming our number three country in the world on, on one of the key geographies for Schneider, not only for India, but for the whole region, a place where we do R&D manufacturing for the international region.